Hey, Matt. Can you show us how you make your candy colored photos and animations? Sure, come in. Matt, love the space. Can you tell me a little about it? Sure. So I started with a pink living room because that's my favorite color. Not too overwhelming of a pink. It's a very light shade. And I contrasted the pink with this mint color in the kitchen and hallway. So they kind of play off of each other and up the saturations of both colors. Because when you pair two contrasting colors together, the saturation of each pops. And I've put some of my art on the walls. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's Hey Cupcake in Austin. I love the colors of this piece. It's just a giant cupcake. Is it, is it real? No, it's just a giant cupcake <laughs> that's sitting on top of an Airstream. Well, it looks delicious. <laughs> Do you want to see the studio? I would love to. This is my office slash studio. I do a lot of uh, stop motion work in here. I'll lay these uh, savage backdrops flat on the ground and just work down here on the floor. And if I need a uh, consistent light, I can just shutter this, turn this guy on, and uh, that will create a nice consistent light source. Over here is uh, one of the first pieces I shot it's just my mom is holding this bunch of balloons down here. And this kind of solidified my palette. Uh, you can see the pinks, the pastels, those vibrant neons. It's probably five years old now. Let me show you how I make some of the stuff. Today I'm gonna show you how I animated this photo which is the staircase at the Royal Academy of Arts in London by Jim Lambie. So we're gonna go to Photoshop, click Window and Timeline, and I'm gonna make sure that the Create New Layer for each new frames and the new layers visible in all frames are unchecked. Frame one will be just the original shot. To make frame two, just click the Duplicate Frames layer and down in your layers panel, you're gonna create a new adjustment layer and that adjustment layer will be a hue saturation layer. And what I'm gonna do is just bump the hue on the master 20 points. And if you click back and forth in the timeline between frame one and two, you can see how that is changing. Go ahead and create frame three by clicking the duplicate frames layer and what you're gonna do is create a new hue saturation layer. Command J if you're on a Mac, and that will duplicate that hue saturation layer and shift the hue another 20 points. And we're gonna do this 18 more times. 18 frames completes the loop. I'm gonna duplicate that set of frames twice to build this out to three seconds. And you can test your loop by playing the animation in the timeline, just press play. And you can see that it's a perfect loop. Well, that's really cool, Matt. Thanks again for showing us how to make this animation. Great meeting you. I got a flight to catch. I'm gonna need the unicorn mask back though.